dumb, so dumb, so dumb, so dumb. He's climbing your windows, he's snatching your people up. Hey guys, this is Quinn. That's Nazi iPhone Guy, and this is Triple T Terminal Tip Tuesday. Now, I get this question all the time, and it was the winner in the poll today on Twitter, and that was, how exactly do I get spaces in between my dock? Now, as you can see, I've organized all of my applications, and I actually kind of messed it up because this is my second time recording. But I've organized them by category. So internet services, content streaming, content creation, Adobe Suite, social networking, and then generic various stuff that I like to keep down there. Do not start Skype. Um, now, what this does is it allows you to take little icons that are blanks. They don't do anything, absolutely nothing. You can click them as much as you want and nothing will happen. However, they still do act as an application in the dock. And uh, you can move them around to where you want and that will create separators. And uh, it's really nifty and really neat and I like it because it creates a cleaner looking dock where you can find stuff easier and faster. So I'm going to show you how to do this and all you need to do is open terminal. The code is actually down below and I'm not going to really explain it or type it out with you because it is pretty long and complex and there's curly braces and all this other stuff you don't really want to mess with when you're typing it out. So just ensure that you type it very carefully. If you get an error, it's no big deal, but you are going to want to repaste that stuff in the sub box uh, very, very carefully because it's precise to the exact space is what matters. So. Um, I've got it pasted here in my clipboard. Let's create five of them. You're just going to paste that. And then once you've done as many as you want, you are going to type kill all, one word, and the capital doc. You're then going to press return and you will see that there are five additional spaces here in your doc. And you can move them to wherever you want in order to create new sections in your doc. I think it's really cool. I use it all the time and I hope you do as well. Let me know. Is there a certain terminal trick you want to see? Maybe it will be in next week's episode of Terminal Tip Tuesday. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And as always, stay snazzy.